Hey guys, at BV Manson here, and today we're installing tank decals. This is the first time I've ever done it. Came out pretty damn good, but guess what? We gotta do it again, and I'll show you how in this video. All right, you'll need a few things for this video. First of all, of course, you're gonna need some decals. I got mine from kz900.com. They had a perfect set for a 1972 CL. Something else that'll be useful is a dental pick that really helped to move some of the decals around to get them right in the perfect position. Small little squeegee, uh, non-permanent marker so you can mark a little bit, and uh, most importantly, some soapy water, all right? Not super soapy, but soapy water is gonna help you out a lot. And then a pair of scissors, you'll need some of those as well, but then read the instructions, honestly. Uh, there's some nuances in here that you need to pay attention to, so read your instructions. All right, first thing you gotta do is you gotta cut out your decals. Um, I like to get these a little bit closer to the actual material so you can get super, super specific about where you're placing these on the tank. So these are rough cut, but I'm gonna go in for a little bit more of a precision cut on these. So uh, you don't need to watch me operate a pair of scissors, so I'm gonna switch over to time-lapse mode. All right, we've got the decals cut out. And uh, just to note on the 1972 striping, there are actually two pieces. There's one single and then one double color stripe that we need to put on this tank. Um, we're gonna put it on big piece first, and then we're gonna join up the smaller piece on the second part. Um, next, we just want to position these on the tank and mark everything off with a little bit of painter's tape. All right, here we're looking at the tank. And uh, the reason why I like to cut these nice and close is uh, you can get them really, really specifically where you want them. So first things first, this basically, this first stripe, it's kind of a burgundy and a white stripe um, go on. And it's gonna go on before the tank starts to curve. It actually fits uh, just perfectly uh, when you lay it right kind of on the, on the crown of when that tank starts to move. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit of painter's tape and start to position this where I think it works out well. Um, looking down here, got a nice straight line. I think right about here. I'm kind of happy with that. So I'm just gonna drop a piece of tape onto that and then being nice and flat with your sticker all the way across, find another nice place to tape off just like that. And take this one all the way back. Notice that I'm taping on the inside right now. That's important because we're actually gonna do an outline of this decal on the outside so we can just lay the piece in really quickly. Um, let's see, let's put this, I kinda want that to be nice and straight. So I'm gonna put that in there like that. And then just make sure that the decal lays nice and flat all the way around. Don't want any bubbles, because otherwise it's gonna look like crap when you're done. So I think this feels pretty good. Next step, I'm just gonna take longer pieces and start marking out the perimeter of the decal. Uh, pretty straightforward, but what you want is just a bunch of reference marks so that once you do wet it and you peel it, that you can just stick it right into the spot where it needs to be. And again, we're just worrying about the first decal. Um, right now, the bigger one will deal with the smaller one here in just a little bit. But see, I'm just not being super specific about it, but I'm wrapping it around. Again, this is just a major little reference point for us as we lay the decal in. So we'll keep putting this on. Got a little bit of red um, coming out there. That's just fine. Um, yeah, I think this is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna lay uh, one down on this edge so I know where I'm going with it. Same thing up on top. Just making sure I get it right where it wants to be. Um, I'll switch over to time-lapse mode and finish this job up. All right, with that part done, uh, we can take off the decal, All right? I'm actually gonna leave this in place. I'm just gonna peel the whole thing off. This will help me as I move through. Got these inside pieces that I can use to kind of move things around. Now, before we go any further, you're gonna wanna wash this surface really, really well. I've got a little kind of 
window washing thing here. I'm just gonna go around this tank or anywhere where the decals are gonna go and clean this off really, really well. You don't want any kind of wax. You don't want really uh, anything on this tank except kind of paint or your clear coat. So um, wipe this off really, really good where this decal goes. Give it a wipe and uh, we'll move on to the next step. All right, just making sure that the surface is nice and dry, nice and clean. I think we're in great shape. We've got some great uh, things to deal with here. So here, um, instructions say one to two drops of soap. Uh, so basically, I think we just used like a Dawn soap and some water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray this down. Um, I like to be a little bit more liberal with the water for sure. Uh, you can move it around a little bit more. You're not quite stuck with your first decision. So I'm just gonna lay that on there, just like that. And then I'm gonna peel the backing off of these stickers. These kits aren't cheap, so I definitely don't wanna screw this up. If you're looking to buy them, they're about a hundred bucks, so um, you don't wanna screw it up. Be careful not to touch the back of the sticker as you're peeling it off. Get it where you need it. What we can do is we can just kinda of lay this thing on here for now using our, our different guides that we've set up. And again, the soap helps just so you can slide it around just a little bit. Get this aligned to where I want it to be. It's looking pretty close. I'm going to spray the top side of this just a little bit just to make sure we keep it nice and moist. People hate that word. I'm not so bothered by the word personally. And we just kind of get this going. Want to make sure that we are really flat. No air bubbles, push all your air bubbles, any kind of air bubbles that you're seeing, we wanna push those out to the edges, not down the line. So kind of start on one end and just start working your way around. I'm just using my finger on this one. As I go, I'm gonna just pull these little pieces of tape off. Give that a nice push, pull that off. Push that through, make sure we don't have any air bubbles. You can totally see the little air bubbles. The, the tape kind of stays white. Here, this corner is gonna be a little tricky, so I need to pick this up a little bit, actually. I'm gonna spray this down. Gotta work my way around the corner. Whoop, there we lost it. I think patience is probably the most important thing you need in your toolbox for this one. Just be really patient and take your time to get it right where you want it to be. This is feeling pretty good. Work my way around. Really make sure on the curves that you've got it. Got it addressed. If I'm not over on that tape there, just a little bit. Yeah, that feels pretty good. I've got one trouble spot here, but you can see I just pushed on that. All that water kind of just pumped right out of there. That's great. Oh, and I just moved it. Great. Let's go like that. Get that there. Yeah, just got a little bit of kink happening in here in this one little corner. But other than that, I feel pretty, pretty darn good. Again, just keep pushing the air bubbles to the outside if you do see them. Gentle, grab your paper towel once you're satisfied and just do a quick dab on it. Let's dab it, let's get as much, let's pull some of the water off of it. All right, let's do it one more time. Looking for any air bubbles. It's looking pretty good. Looks pretty good right here. Got my corner. That's all nice and flat. That's all nice and flat. A little bit of moisture here. So I'm just gonna go along, tap these down, and kind of dry it off. Dry this whole area off just a little bit before we start to do probably one of the most satisfying parts of the job here next. So I'm just going to let this sit here just for a second, give you a different angle, and we'll uh, start to peel the tape. All right, I feel good about it. So I'm just going to take the top piece here, and I'm going to slowly start to pull this back. Now when you're first starting, this is where this dental pick comes in really handy. You can kind of grab this first, these first two little lines and push those down. Make sure that we get adhesion from that point there like that. 
once you get this started, it's gonna peel off, Oop, it's gonna peel off of here pretty easily. Just gotta get it started. And I think one of the big keys is just to keep everything that you're doing really flat. As you go across, pull straight, like I'm not even pulling up on the tape at all, I'm just dragging my finger across. And as I'm going, oop, I got a little bit of issue there. All right, it's okay, I'll water it, keep it moving. Tell you, this is some nerve wracking stuff, no joke. And we're just gonna dab and pull. Almost like I'm pushing out with the paper and pulling this all up. Just like that. Really nice and slowly. Moving like literally like a centimeter at a time. So I think I can go over to time-lapse mode while I pull this off, but look at how nice and clean that's coming out. It's gonna look absolutely perfect once we get it. Just gotta be patient while you're pulling this stuff off. Yeah, I do have to admit, this is pretty satisfying work. All right, that's taken out. Now we just wanna go carefully around the edges and look for any kind of air bubbles. And guys, I don't see a single air bubble in this graphic. I think we did a really nice job on that. All right, next one, the tricky part, we gotta get the second one on, um, the second stripe on that is. Um, but first I'm going to take off this tape because I don't need it anymore and I really don't want it sticking to my tank anymore. It makes me paranoid that I'm going to peel it off and a big chunk of paint will come off. That'd be like a thing of nightmares. Um, so we're going to pull that off just like that and I'll give you a good look at this first decal as I think this was a really nice little success that we had here. All right, let's pull this off. You know, I was a little intimidated going into this job, thinking that this would be super hard, but I may be speaking too soon, but it's really not that bad. So yeah, let's give you a look at it. How about that, guys? Looks pretty damn good to me. Already did the other side, got that all locked in. Looks absolutely beautiful. Awesome. All right, let's get to the second stripe. All right, now kind of on to the trickier one. Um, we've got to make a perfect connection um, between this orange and the end of this orange. <laughs> okay, so the only way that I was really able to figure this out was to actually lay this piece on here, um, kind of where we want it. There's an angle on the sticker that I think I'm supposed to follow. So what I did was I just grabbed this, get it kind of positioned where I need it, Okay, some tape would be really helpful here right now too. I have some tape, so let me get a fresh piece. And let's just get this thing cut to length. That's the most important thing right now is getting these angles just right. And I didn't think I'd have to cut it, um, but it definitely appears that I do have to cut it. So I'm gonna just, let me turn the tank so you can see it, just like that. So I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna line up the color right there. And then I'm gonna hold it. And then kind of work my back angle over here. Try to get that as close as I can. It's gotta be a perfect little intersection here. I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do, just with my pencil, mark it here, mark it here. And that should be my slope right there. So I can trim it here. So let's just cut that. Just a slight little curve like that. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the tank. Now what I'm gonna do, this thing's really topsy-turvy. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, like that. Make sure that this decal is super flat as I go around the corner. Looks like I could use just a little bit more. Ooh, this is really close, actually. 
just like that. Again, I think holding the sticker where it needs to be is probably the most important. And then I'm going to trim it right there. And this piece should fall right into place. We're gonna find out here in just a second. Because what we need to do now is wet the area. Oh God, I got, I got like serious uh, nerves as I'm going through this for some reason. Kind of one shot at it, man. If you screw it up, you kind of SOL. So again, try not to touch the stick them at all. I'm gonna start, oops, I'm gonna start with my angled edge over here. Okay, try to work kind of quick here. Got a little bit of product there. Line that up, let's get that lined up. Get that lined up. I'm gonna spray this top part down just a little bit. That looks good there. Follow this around. Lift up the product. See how close we got here. I feel pretty good about that. I feel pretty good about that. And I feel really good about this connection down here. So we're gonna go just like that, I think. What do we think? How's that look, guys? I think that looks pretty good. Let's dry it. Again, dabs, you don't want to rub on it. Just try to make sure I don't have, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut that just a little bit, I think. Yep, I need to cut that. It's a little bit long, but it's pretty easy to do with the dental, uh, dental pick. That thing has quickly become one of my most favorite little items in the toolbox. It is just so useful for so many things. All right, there's that. I can breathe a little bit now. And then what we can do is we try to peel this backing. It's gonna be the easiest way to do this here. My dental pick. Try to get stuff separated here. Come on. Almost got it. Almost got it. God, I feel like a surgeon right now, trying to get this backing off here. There we go. There we got it started. Now we're gonna be able to pull this out. Same kind of deal as before. Just gonna slowly pull this backing paper off. Again, not pulling up, just pulling flat and away from the piece. Don't want any ripples in this curve. I think that's probably what I'm most concerned with right now is any kind of a ripple in that curve. Because if the curve is off, it's just gonna look weird. I'm gonna pull that straight back. And moment of truth as we move to the end. And holy crap, guys, that's pretty darn close. Okay, I need to attack this just a little bit. So see, I need a little bit of a fine adjustment here. So I'm just gonna spray that. And with the dental pick, you can actually just kind of grab it and kind of maneuver it. I'm not poking into the decal, of course. I'm just kind of trying to pull it where I want it. I don't know, I'm pretty satisfied with that actually. Now on this bottom side, I'm gonna actually spray this down good and grab my scissors and just kind of eyeball the cut here. I'm just gonna lift it. Lift the decal up just a hair. And I'm gonna cut off this little chunk, I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but a little bit more.
Now we can position this to get perfect on there. A little bit more water. Or soapy water, I should say. And there we got it, guys. I think that looks really, really good. Pleased with that. There you have it. <laughs> nice pinstripe uh, uh, job done on the Honda tank. Next thing I gotta do is I gotta refurb um, these badges. We'll get the gas cap back on, get that all installed and we'll be good to go. But uh, hopefully you found this useful. I don't think you should be intimidated about trying this job. Um, I think it's actually pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I think the key is the soapy water so you can manipulate things. Hey, look at that joint, it's perfect. I am so pleased with that. Um, if you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. Thumbs up the videos you enjoy. Also follow along Instagram and Twitter at BV Matson. We got a lot of work to do, but we're doing fun work, man. We're putting everything back together. I am super excited about how this tank turned out. Um, on to the next video, guys. See you in the next one.